The Republic F-84 Thunderjet was an American turbojet fighter-bomber aircraft. Originating as a 1944 United States Army Air Forces USAAF proposal for a day fighter, the F-84 first flew in 1946. Although it entered service in 1947, the Thunderjet was plagued by so many structural and engine problems that a 1948 U.S. Air Force review declared it unable to execute any aspect of its intended mission and considered cancelling the program. The aircraft was not considered fully operational until the 1949 F-84D model and the design matured only with the definitive F-84G introduced in 1951. In 1954, the straight-wing Thunderjet was joined by the swept-wing F-84F Thunderstreak fighter and RF-84F Thunderflash photo reconnaissance aircraft. The Thunderjet became the USAF's primary strike aircraft during the Korean War, flying 86,408 sorties and destroying 60% of all ground targets in the war as well as eight Soviet-built MiG fighters. Over half of the 7,524 F-84s produced served with NATO nations, and it was the first aircraft to fly with the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds demonstration team. The USAF Strategic Air Command had F-84 Thunderjets in service from 1948 through 1957. The F-84 was the first production fighter aircraft to utilize in-flight refueling and the first fighter capable of carrying a nuclear weapon, the Mark 7 nuclear bomb. Modified F-84s were used in several unusual projects, including the FICON and TomTom -Tom dockings to the B-29 Superfortress and B-36 bomber motherships, and the experimental XF-84H Thunderscreech turboprop. The F-84 nomenclature can be somewhat confusing. The straight-wing F-84A to F-84E and F-84G models were called the Thunderjet. The F-84F Thunderstreak and RF-84F Thunderflash were different airplanes with swept wings. The XF-84H Thunderscreech not its official name, was an experimental turboprop version of the F-84F. The F-84F swept-wing version was intended to be a small variation of the normal Thunderjet with only a few different parts, so it kept the basic F-84 number. Production delays on the F-84F resulted in another order of the straight-wing version, this was the F-84G. Topic. Design and development In 1944, Republic Aviation's chief designer, Alexander Kartvelli, began working on a turbojet-powered replacement for the P-47 Thunderbolt piston-engined fighter. The initial attempts to redesign the P-47 to accommodate a jet engine proved futile due to the large cross-section of the early centrifugal compressor turbojets. Instead, Kartvelli and his team designed a new aircraft with a streamlined fuselage largely occupied by an axial compressor turbojet engine and fuel stored in rather thick unswept wings. On the 11th of September 1944, 
the USAAF released general operational requirements for a day fighter with a top speed of 600 miles per hour, 521 kn, 966 kilometers per hour, combat radius of 705 miles, 612 nmi, 1135 kilometers, an armament of either 60.50 in 12.7 mm or 40.60 in 15.2 mm machine guns. In addition, the new aircraft had to use the General Electric TG-180 axial turbojet which entered production as the Allison J-35. On the 11th of November 1944, Republic received an order for three prototypes of the new XP-84, model AP-23. Since the design promised superior performance to the Lockheed-built P-80 Shooting Star and Republic had extensive experience in building single-seat fighters, no competition was held for the contract. The name Thunderjet was chosen to continue the Republic aviation tradition started with the P-47 Thunderbolt while emphasizing the new method of propulsion. On 4 January 1945, even before the aircraft took to the air, the USAAF expanded its order to 25 service test YP-84As and 75 production P-84Bs later modified to 15 YP-84A and 85 P-84B. Meanwhile, wind tunnel testing by the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics revealed longitudinal instability and stabilizer skin buckling at high speeds. The weight of the aircraft, a great concern given the low thrust of early turbojets, was growing so quickly that the USAAF had to set a gross weight limit of 13,400 pounds 6 kilograms. The results of this preliminary testing were incorporated into the third prototype, designated XP-84A, which was also fitted with a more powerful J35GE15 engine with 4,000 lbf (17.79 kilonewtons) of thrust. The first prototype XP-84 was transferred to Murak Army Air Field, present. Day Edwards Air Force Base, where it flew for the first time on the 28th of February 1946 with Major Wallace A. Wally Lean at the controls. It was joined by the second prototype in August, both aircraft flying with J-35 GE-7 engines producing 3,745 lbf 16.66 kilonewtons. The 15YP-84 is delivered to Patterson Field, present-day Wright-Patterson Air Force Base for service tests differed from XP-84s by having an upgraded J-35A-15 engine, carrying 60.50 in 12.7 mm M2 Browning machine guns four in the nose and one in each wing route, and having Having the provision for wingtip fuel tanks holding 226 U.S. gal 856 L each. Due to delays with delivery of jet engines and production of the XP-84A, the Thunderjet had undergone only limited flight testing by the time production P-84Bs began to roll out of the factory in 1947. In particular, the impact of wingtip tanks on aircraft handling was not thoroughly studied. 
This proved problematic later, after the creation of the United States Air Force by the National Security Act of 1947, the pursuit designation was replaced with fighter, and the P-84 became the F-84. F-84s were assigned to the 27th Fighter Wing, 27th Fighter Escort Wing, 27th Strategic Fighter Wing, 31st Fighter Escort Wing, 127th Fighter Day Wing, 127th Fighter Escort Wing, 127th Strategic Fighter Wing, 407th Strategic Fighter Wing and the 506th Strategic Fighter Wing wing of the Strategic Air Command from 1947 through 1958. <laughs> Operational history The F-84B, which differed from YP-84A only in having faster firing M3 machine guns, became operational with 14th Fighter Group at Dow Field, Bangor, Maine in December 1947. Flight restrictions followed immediately, limiting maximum speed to Mach 0.8 due to control reversal, and limiting maximum acceleration to 5.5 grams 54 meters per square second due to wrinkling of the fuselage skin. To compound the problem, parts shortages and maintenance difficulties earned the aircraft the nickname, Mechanics Nightmare. On 24 May 1948, the entire F-84B fleet was grounded due to structural failures. A 1948 review of the entire F-84 program discovered that none of the F-84B or F-84C aircraft could be considered operational or capable of executing any aspect of their intended mission. The program was saved from cancellation because the F-84D, whose production was well underway, had satisfactorily addressed the major faults. A fly-off against the F-80 revealed that while the shooting star had a shorter takeoff roll, better low-altitude climb rate and superior maneuverability, the F-84 could carry a greater bomb load, was faster, had better high-altitude performance and greater range. As a temporizing measure, the USAF in 1949 committed eight million United States dollars to implement over 100 upgrades to all F-84Bs, most notably reinforcing the wings. Despite the resultant improvements, the F-84B was withdrawn from active duty by 1952. The F-84C featured a somewhat more reliable J-35A-13 engine and had some engineering refinements. Being virtually identical to the F-84B, the C model suffered from all of the same defects and underwent a similar structural upgrade program in 1949. All F-84Cs were withdrawn from active service by 1952. The structural improvements were factory implemented in the F-84D, which entered service in 1949. Wings were covered with thicker aluminum skin, the fuel system was winterized and capable of using JP-4 fuel, and a more powerful J-35A-17D engine with 5,000 lbf .24 kilonewtons was fitted. It was discovered that the untested wingtip fuel tanks contributed to wing structural failures by inducing excessive twisting during high G maneuvers. To correct this, small triangular fins were added to the outside of the tanks. 
The F-84D was phased out of USAF service in 1952 and left Air National Guard ANG service in 1957. The first effective and fully capable Thunderjet was the F-84E model which entered service in 1949. The aircraft featured the J-35A-17 engine, further wing reinforcement, a 12-in fuselage extension in front of the wings and 3-in extension aft of the wings to enlarge the cockpit and the avionics bay, an A-1C gunsight with APG-30 radar, and provision for an additional pair of 200 130 gallons 870 L fuel tanks to be carried on underwing pylons. The latter increased the combat radius from 850 to 1,000 miles 740 to 870 nmi, 1,370 to 1,610 kilometers. One improvement to the original F-84 design was rocket racks that folded flush with the wing after the 5-inch Havar rockets were fired, which reduced drag over the older fixed mounting racks. This innovation was adopted by other U.S. jet fighter bombers. Despite the improvements, the in-service rates for the F-84E remained poor with less than half of the aircraft operational at any given time. This was primarily due to a severe shortage of spares for the Allison engines. The expectation was that F-84S would fly 25 hours per month, accumulating 100 hours between engine overhauls. The actual flight hours for Korean War and NATO deployments rapidly outpaced the supply and Allison's ability to manufacture new engines. The F-84E was withdrawn from USAF service in 1956, lingering with ANG units until 1959. The definitive straight-wing F-84 was the F-84G which entered service in 1951. The aircraft introduced a refueling boom receptacle in the left wing, autopilot, instrument landing system, J-35A-29 engine with 5,560 lbf kilonewtons of thrust, a distinctive framed canopy also retrofitted to earlier types, and the ability to carry a single Mark 7 nuclear bomb. The F-84G was retired from USAF in the mid-1960s. Starting in the early 1960s, the aircraft was deployed by the Forca Aérea Portuguesa FAP during the Portuguese colonial war in Africa. By 1972, all four operating F-84 aircraft were supplementing the FAP in Angola. Topic. Flying the Thunderjet Typical of most early jets, the Thunderjet's takeoff performance left much to be desired. In hot Korean summers with a full combat load, the aircraft routinely required 10,000 feet 3, meters of runway for takeoff even with the help of Rado bottles, two or four of these were carried, each producing 1,000 lbf 4.4 kilonewtons of thrust for 14 seconds. All but the lead aircraft had their visibility obscured by the thick smoke from the rockets. Early F-84s had to be pulled off the ground at 160 miles per hour, 140 kn, 260 kilometers per hour, with the control stick held all the way back. 
Landings were made at a similar speed. For comparison, the North American P 51 Mustang landed at approximately 120 miles per hour, 100 kn, 190 kilometers per hour. Despite the hot landing speeds, the Thunderjet was easy to fly on instruments and crosswinds did not present much of a problem. Thanks to the thick straight wing the Thunderjet rapidly reached its Mach 0.82 limitation at full throttle and low altitude. The aircraft had sufficient power to fly faster, but exceeding the Mach limit at low altitudes resulted in a violent pitch-up and structural failure causing the wings to break off. Above 15,000 feet 4, meters, the F-84 could be flown faster but at the expense of severe buffeting. However, the airspeed was sufficiently easy to control to make safe dive bombing from 10,000 feet 3, meters possible. The top speed limitation proved troublesome against Soviet Mikoyan Gurevich MiG 15s in Korea. Slower than the MiG, the F 84 was also unable to turn tightly with a maximum instantaneous turn load of only 3 gigaseconds, followed by rapid loss of airspeed. One F-84E pilot credited with two MiG kills achieved his second victory by intentionally flying his aircraft into pitch-up. The MiGs chasing him were unable to follow the violent maneuver and one crashed into the ground. Luckily for the F-84E pilot, the aircraft did not disintegrate but the airframe did suffer heavy warping. The F-84 was a stable gun platform and the computing gunsight aided in accurate gunnery and bombing. Pilots praised the aircraft for Republic's legendary ruggedness, pilots nicknamed the Thunderjet, the lead sled. It was also called, the iron crowbar, a hole sucking air, the hog, the ground hog and the world's fastest tricycle, ground-loving whore, as a testament to its long takeoff roles. F-84 lore stated that all aircraft were equipped with a sniffer device that, upon passing V-2, would look for the dirt at the end of the runway. As soon as the device could smell the dirt, the controls would turn on and let the pilot fly off the ground. In the same vein, it was suggested a bag of dirt should be carried in the front landing gear well. Upon reaching V-2, the pilot would dump the dirt under the wheels, fooling the sniffer device. Topic. Korean War The Thunderjet had a distinguished record during the Korean War. Although the F-84B and F-84C could not be deployed because their J-35 engines had a service life of only 40 hours, the F-84D and F-84E entered combat with 27th Fighter Escort Group on 7 December 1950. The aircraft were initially tasked with escorting the B-29 Superfortress bombers. The first Thunderjet air-to-air -air victory was scored on 21 January 1951 at the cost of two F-84s. The F-84 was a generation behind the swept-wing Soviet Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-15 and outmatched, especially when the MiGs were flown by more experienced pilots, and the MiG counter-air mission was soon given to the F-86 Sabre. Like its famous predecessor, the P-47, the F-84 switched to the low-level interdiction role at which it excelled. 
The F-84 flew a total of 86,408 missions, dropping 55,586 tons, 50,427 metric tons of bombs and 6,129 tons, 5,560 metric tons of napalm. The USAF claimed F-84s were responsible for 60% of all ground targets destroyed in the war. Notable F-84 operations included the 1952 attack on the Suejo Dam. During the war, the F-84 became the first USAF fighter to utilize aerial refueling. In aerial combat, F-84 pilots were credited with 8 MiG-15 kills against a Soviet claimed loss of 64 aircraft. The total losses were 335 F-84D, E and G models. <laughs> Portuguese Overseas War In 1961, the Portuguese Air Force sent 25 of their remaining F-84G to Angola. There they formed the Esquadra 91 91st Squadron, based at Luanda Air Base. From then on, the F-84s were engaged in the Angolan theater of the Portuguese Overseas War, being mainly employed in air strike missions against the separatist guerrillas. The last F-84 were kept operational in Angola until 1974. Topic: Notable achievements. The F-84 was the first aircraft flown by the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds, which operated F-84G Thunderjets from 1953 to 1955 and F-84F Thunderstreaks from 1955 to 1956. The F-84E was also flown by the Skyblazers team of United States Air Forces Europe from 1950 to 1955. On 7 September 1946, the second XP-84 prototype set a national speed record of 607.2 miles per hour 527.6 kn, 977.2 km per hour, slightly slower than the world record 612.2 miles per hour 532.0 kn, 985.2 km per hour held by the British Gloucester Meteor. On the 22nd of September 1950, two EF-84s, flown by David C. Schilling and Col. William Ritchie, flew across the North Atlantic from Great Britain to the United States. Ritchie's aircraft ran out of fuel over Newfoundland but the other successfully made the crossing which took 10 hours 2 minutes and 3 aerial refuelings. The flight demonstrated that large numbers of fighters could be rapidly moved across the Atlantic. F-84G was the first fighter with built-in aerial refueling capability and the first single-seat aircraft capable of carrying a nuclear bomb. On 20 August 1953, 17F-84 gigaseconds using aerial refueling flew from the United States to the United Kingdom. The 4,485-mile 4 7,220-kilometers 7 journey was the longest ever non-stop flight by jet fighters. 
In 1955, an F-84G became the first aircraft to be zero length launched from a trailer. By the mid 1960s, the F-84, F-84F was replaced by the F-100 Super Sabre and the RF-84F by the RF-101 Voodoo in USAF units, being relegated to duty in the Air National Guard. The last F-84F Thunderflash retired from the Ang in 1971. Three Hellenic Air Force RF-84Fs that were retired in 1991 were the last operational F-84s. Topic. Costs Notes, the costs are in approximately 1950 United States dollars and have not been adjusted for inflation. Topic. Variants Topic. Straight wing variants XP 84 The first two prototypes XP 84A The third prototype with a more powerful J 35 GE 15 engine. This airframe was subsequently modified with a pointed fairing over the intake and lateral NACA intakes were installed into the intake trunks. YP-84A Service test aircraft, 15 built. P-84B F-84B First production version, J35A15 engine, 226 built. F84C Reverted to the more reliable J35A13 engine, improved fuel, hydraulic and electrical systems, 191 built. F84D J35A17 engine, various structural improvements. The pitot tube was moved from the tail fin to the splitter in the air intake with fins added to the wingtip fuel tanks, 154 built. EF84D Two F-84Ds, EF-84D 48-641 and EF-84D 48-661 were modified with coupling devices, 641 starboard wing, 661 port wing for Tiptoe Project MX-106 wing coupling experiments an EB 29A44-62093 was modified with coupling devices on both wings. Because of the difference in landing gear lengths, the three aircraft took off separately and couple, uncoupled in flight. The pilot of 641 was Major John M. Davis and the pilot of 661 was Major C.E. Bud. Anderson. One of the more interesting experiments undertaken to extend the range of the early jets in order to give fighter protection to the piston engine bombers, was the provision for in-flight attachment, detachment of fighter to bomber via wingtip connections. One of the several programs during these experiments was done with a B-29 mother ship and two F-84D children, and was code-named, Tiptoe. A number of flights were undertaken, with several successful cycles of attachment and detachment, using, first one, and then two F-84s. 
The pilots of the F-84s maintained manual control when attached, with roll axis maintained by elevator movement rather than aileron movement. Engines on the F-84s were shut down in order to save fuel during the tow by the mother ship, and in-flight engine restarts were successfully accomplished. The experiment ended in disaster during the first attempt to provide automatic flight control of the F-84s, when the electronics apparently malfunctioned. The left-hand F-84 rolled onto the wing of the B-29, and the connected aircraft both crashed with loss of all on-board personnel Anderson had uncoupled so did not crash with the other two aircraft. F-84E J-35A-17D engine, Sperry and, APG-30 radar ranging gunsight, retractable attachments for radio bottles, inboard wing hardpoints made, wet, to permit carrying an additional pair of 230 U.S. gal 870L fuel tanks. Most aircraft were retrofitted with F-84G style reinforced canopies. The fuselage was stretched 15. The canopy was lengthened 8 inches. The canopy frame was lengthened 12. Accounting for another 4 inches. And a 3 inches splice panel was added aft of the canopy. The stretch was not done to enlarge the cockpit but rather to enable a larger fuel tank, provide additional space for equipment under the canopy behind the pilot's seat, and to improve aerodynamics. This can be distinguished from earlier models by the presence of two fuel vents on ventral rear fuselage, the added radar in the nose splitter, and the pitot tube was moved downward from mid-height in the splitter as on the F-84D to clear the radar installation. 843 built. F-84E-49-2031 was a test aircraft for air-to-air -air missiles. F-84E-50-1115 was a test aircraft for the FICON project. EF-84E 2F-84S were converted into test prototypes, to test various methods of air-to-air -air refueling. EF-84E-49-2091 was used as a probe and drogue test aircraft. The probe was mid-span on the port wing. Production aircraft with probes removable had the probe fitted to the auxiliary wing tanks. EF-84E-49-2115 was used as a FICON test aircraft with a B-36 host. EF-84E-49-1225 and EF-84E-51-634 were test aircraft for the ZELMAL zero-length launch, mat landing experiments version for point defense, used the booster rocket from MGM-1 Matador cruise missile. F-84G Single-seat fighter bomber capable of delivering the Mark 7 nuclear bomb using the lab's J-35A-29 engine, autopilot, capable of in-flight refueling using both the boom receptacle in left wing leading edge and drogue probe fitted to wingtip fuel tanks, introduced the multi-framed canopy which was later retrofitted to earlier straight-winged F-80. Fours. A total of 3,025 were built 1,936 for NATO under MDAP. The larger engine had a higher airflow at its takeoff thrust than the intake had been designed for. 
This caused higher flow velocities, increased pressure losses and thrust loss. Commencing with Block 20, auxiliary suck-in doors were added ahead of the wing leading edge to regain some of the thrust loss. At high engine RPM and low aircraft speeds, such as takeoff, the spring-loaded doors were sucked open by the partial vacuum created in the duct. When the aircraft reached sufficient airspeed the ram pressure rise in the duct closed the auxiliary doors. F-84G-51-1343 was modified with a periscope system to test the periscope installation proposed for the Republic XF-103. F-84KX 80X USAF F-84Bs converted into target drones for the United States Navy. RF-84G F-84G Thunderjets converted by France and Yugoslavia for recon duty with cameras in the ventral fuselage and modified auxiliary wing tanks. YF-96AAKA YF-84FAKA YRF-84K F-84E-49-2430 converted to swept wing configuration. The first prototype for the F-84F Thunderstreak canopy and ventral speed brake carried over from Thunderjet. Originally with a V windscreen, later reverted to the standard Thunderjet flat windscreen. Modified by adding a fixed hook at the weapons bay and anhedral horizontal tailplane to enable FICON tests trapeze capture with GRB-36D mother ship. The airframe was capable of higher speeds than the Thunderjet engine could deliver. The YF-84F was a follow-on with a larger engine and deepened fuselage. YF-84F F-84G-51-1344 converted to swept wing configuration. The second prototype for the F-84F Thunderstreak. Fuselage deepened by 7 inches 180 millimeters to accommodate larger engine. Canopy and ventral speed brake carried over from Thunderjet, tail configuration same as YF-96A. YF-84FAKA YRF-84F F-84G-51-1345 converted to swept wing configuration with a pointed nose and lateral intakes. This was a test airframe to evaluate the effects of moving the intakes to the wing roots. Like 1344, the fuselage was deepened by 7 inches 180 millimeters, to accommodate larger engine. Canopy and ventral speed brake carried over from Thunderjet, tail configuration same as YF-96A. For the swept wing versions of the F-84 series, see Republic F-84F Thunderstreak. Tiptoe. CEF-84D above, did not become operational. See FICON project. Tom Tom. 2RF84K and B36 wingtip coupling experiment did not become operational. See FICON project. FICON F84E and GRB36D trapeze system became operational. See FICON project. Topic. Swept wing variants 
YF84F Two swept wing prototypes of the F84F initially designated YF96A F84F Thunderstreak Swept wing version with Wright J65 engine RF84F Thunderflash Reconnaissance version of the F84F, 715 built. RF84K Ficon project. Reconnaissance version of the F model, 25 built to hang from the consolidated B36 Peacemaker. XF84H Thunderscreech. Experimental supersonic turboprop version. YF84J Two conversions with the General Electric J73 engine. Topic: Operators. Belgium Belgian Air Force operated 213 Republic F84G from March 1952 until September 1957 and 21 Republic RF84E Denmark Danish Air Force operated 240 Republic F84G from April 1952 until January 1962 and 6 Republic F84E France French Air Force operated 335 F84G from April 1952 until November 1956 and 46 Republic F84E Greece Hellenic Air Force operated 234 Republic F84G from March 1952 until June 1960. They equipped the 335, 336, 337, 338, 339 and 340 squadrons Moira Dioxa's Iran Imperial Iranian Air Force operated 69 Republic F-84G from May 1957 until September 1961 Italian Air Force operated 250 56 Republic F-84G from March 1952 until May 1957 Netherlands Netherlands Air Force operated 166 Republic F-84G from April 1952 until December 1957 and 21 Republic RF-84E Norway Norwegian Air Force operated 208 Republic f 8 4G from June 1952 until June 1960 and 6 Republic F-84E from 1951 until 1956 and 35 Republic RF-84F from 1956 until 1970 Portugal Portuguese Air Force operated 125 Republic F-84G from January 1950 until July 1974 Taiwan Republic of China Republic of China Air Force operated 246 Republic F-84G from June 1953 until April 1964 Thailand Royal Thai Air Force operated 31 Republic F-84G from November 1956 until 1963 Turkey Turkish Air Force operated 489 Republic F-84G from March 1952 until June 1966 United States United States Air Force operated 226 Republic F-84B, 191 Republic F-84C, 154 Republic F-84D, 743 Republic F-84E, 
789 Republic F-84G Yugoslavia Yugoslavian Air Force operated 231 Republic R F-84G from June 1953 until July 1974. Topic Major USAF operational F-84 units 10th Tactical Reconnaissance Wing, RF-84F 12th Fighter Escort Wing, Group, F-84E, G, F 1962 14th Fighter Wing, Group P F eight four B nineteen forty seven to nineteen forty nine fifteenth tactical fighter wing F eight four F nineteen sixty two to nineteen sixty four twentieth fighter bomber wing group F eight four B C D E F G nineteen fifty eight nineteen fifty nine twenty seventh fighter escort wing group F eight four E G F 1950 to 1958 Thirty first fighter escort wing group F 84 C E F 1948 to 1950 1951 to 1957 49th fighter bomber wing group F 84 E G 1951 to 1953 58th fighter bomber group F 8 4E, G, 1952 to 1954, 66th Tactical Reconnaissance Wing, RF-84F, 1955 to 1959, 67th Tactical Reconnaissance Wing, 15th and 45th TRS-5, RF-84F. K 1955 to 1958 71st strategic reconnaissance wing RF 84F K 1955 81st fighter bomber wing group F84F 1954 to 1959 136th fighter bomber wing group F84E 1951 1952 at K2 also J13 312th fighter bomber group F84E G 1954-1955, 363rd Tactical Reconnaissance Wing, RF-84F, 1954 to 1958, 366th Fighter Bomber Wing, Tactical Fighter Wing, F-84E, F, 1954 to 1958, 1962 to 1965, 401st Fighter Bomber wing tactical fighter wing f84 f1957 405 th fighter bomber wing tactical fighter wing f84 f 1953 to 1956 407th strategic fighter wing f84 f 1954 to 1957 474th fighter bomber wing f F84D E G 1952 1953 506th strategic fighter wing F84F 1953 to 1957 508th strategic fighter wing F84F 1952 to 1956 3540th combat crew training wing F84E 1952 1953 3600th combat crew training wing F84D E G F 1952 to 1957 redesignated 4510th CCTW with F84D F 1958 3645 TH combat crew training wing F84EG 1953 to 1957 4 
4925th Test Group Atomic, F84E, F, G, 1950-1963. Topic: Royal Netherlands Air Force operational F-84 units. JVS-2 Yacht Vlieger School RF-84E, 1953. 306 Squadron F-84G, 1953-1954 RF-84E, 1954 to 1957. 311 Squadron RF-84E, 1951 1951-1952 F-84G, 1952 to 1956. 312 Squadron RF-84E, 1951 to 1954 F-84G, 1952 to 1956. 313 Squadron RF-84E, 1953 1953-1954 F-84G, 1953 to 1956. 314 Squadron F84G 1952 to 1956 315 Squadron F84G 1952 to 1956 Topic Aircraft on display Croatia F-84G10676 X USAF, Rijeka Airport, Omasalj Denmark F eighty four G fifty one nine nine six six KRA Alborg Defence and Garrison Museum Alborg five one one zero six two two KU U Alborg Defence and Garrison Museum A seven hundred seventy seven Sci H Denmark's Techniske Museum Helsinger. KPX, Danish collection of vintage aircraft, SKJERNR F84 FC 581 Flive Station Karup Historiski Forening Museet, Karup C264 Danish collection of vintage aircraft, Skjern Netherlands F84GK171 National Military Museum Sosterberg Topic Norway F84G511061 Flyhistorisk Museum Sola Stavanger Airport Sola near Stavanger 5111209 Forsverets Flysamling Gardermann, Oslo Airport, Gardermann near Oslo. 52-2912 Orland Main Air Station. 52-8465 Royal Norwegian Air Force Museum, Bodo. Topic Portugal F eight four G five one three one Museu do R Sintra Air Base Sintra five thousand two hundred one Military and Technical Training Center of the Air Force Ota Alenker
Topic: Serbia F84G10501X USAF52-2936 CN3050 1855B Museum of Aviation Nikola Tesla Airport Belgrade 10525X USAF 52-2939 CN3050 1858B Museum of Aviation Nikola Tesla Airport Belgrade 10530X USAF 52-8435 CN3250 2260B Museum of Aviation Nikola Tesla Airport Belgrade Topic Slovenia F84G10642X USAF 52-2910CN3050 1829B Pivka Military History Park Pivka Topic Thailand F eighty four G fifty one one oh five eight two X USAF and retired Royal Thai Air Force fighter in Royal Thai Air Force Museum. Topic Turkey F84G10572 Istanbul Aviation Museum. 19953 Atatürk Airport Istanbul RF84F1901 Istanbul Aviation Museum 1917 Istanbul Aviation Museum Topic <laughs> United States YP eighty four A forty five five nine four nine four Discovery Park of America, Union City, Tennessee. Formerly at Octave Chanute Aerospace Museum at the former Chanute Air Force Base in Rantoul, Illinois, F 84 B 45 59504 Cradle of Aviation Museum in Garden City, New York. Four five five nine five five six Plains of Fame Museum in Chino, California. Forty six O six 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 Mid Atlantic Air Museum in Reading, Pennsylvania. F eighty four C forty seven one four three three Pima Air and Space Museum, adjacent to Davis Monthan Air Force Base in Tucson, Arizona. 47-1486 Goldwater Air National Guard Base, Sky Harbor International Airport in Phoenix, Arizona. 47-1498 IA Air Venture Museum in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. 47-1513 Kansas Aviation Museum at McConnell Air Force Base in Wichita, Kansas. 47-1530 Cannon Air Force Base, New Mexico. 47-1562 Pueblo Weisbrod Aircraft Museum in Pueblo, Colorado. 47-1595 March Field Air Museum at March Air Reserve Base, former March Air Force Base in Riverside, California, F-84E. 49-2155 Yanks Air Museum in Chino, California. 
49-2285 Texas Military Forces Museum in Austin, Texas. 49-2348 American Airpower Museum in East Farmingdale, New York. 50-1143 National Museum of the United States Air Force at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton, Ohio. It was obtained from Robbins Air Force Base, Georgia, in October 1963. 510604 Museum of Aviation at Robbins Air Force Base, Georgia, F 84G 510791 Springfield Air National Guard Base, Springfield, Ohio. 511126 Under restoration to airworthiness by a Vulcan Warbirds Inc. for the Flying Heritage Collection in Seattle, Washington. 52-3242 Hill Aerospace Museum, Hill Air Force Base, Utah. 52-8365 under restoration to airworthiness by a private owner in Edmonds, Washington. Topic: Specifications F84G Thunderjet. Data from Encyclopedia of U.S. Air Force Aircraft and Missile Systems General Characteristics Crew, 1 Length, 38 feet 1 in 11.60 meters Wingspan, 36 feet 5 in 11.10 meters Height, 12 feet 7 in 3.84 meters. Wing area, 260 feet squared, 24 square meters. Empty weight, 11,470 pounds, 5,200 kilograms. Loaded weight, 18,080 pounds, 8,200 kilograms. Max, takeoff weight, 23,340 pounds, 10,590 kilograms. Power plant, 1 times Allison J35A29 turbojet, 5,560 lbf, 24.7 kilonewtons, performance. Maximum speed, 622 miles per hour, 540 kn, 1000 kilometers per hour, Mach 0.81. Cruise speed, 475 miles per hour, 413 kn, 770 kilometers per hour. Range, 1,000 miles, 870 nmi, 1,600 kilometers, combat. Ferry range, 2,000 miles, 1,700 nmi, 3,200 kilometers, with external tanks. Service ceiling, 40,500 feet, 12,350 meters. Rate of climb, 3,765 feet per minute 19.1 meters per second. Wing loading, 70 pounds per foot squared, 342 kilograms per square meter. Thrust, weight, 0 0.31 lbf, elbermament. 6 times 0 0.50 in 12. 7 mm M3 Browning machine guns, 300 RPG, up to 4,450 pounds, 2,020 kilograms of rockets and bombs, including one times Mark 7 nuclear bombay vionics.
A1 CM or A4 gunsight with APG-30 or MK-18 ranging radar. Topic. See also. Related development. F84F Thunderstreak. Republic XF91 Thunderceptor. XF84H Thunderscreech aircraft of comparable role, configuration and era. Dassault Oregon. De Havilland Venom Gloucester Meteor Grumman F-9F Cougar Grumman F-9F Panther McDonnell XF-85 Goblin